Inside line. This rose. Episode eight. Monday was it was such a great day because obviously I found out on the Sunday after the game and you never know with, with any selection whether you're going to be in it or not and obviously I've had my fair share over the years of, of being in squads and out squads for various Six Nations, World Cup, Autumns and uh, it was just it was the icing on the cake really being, being told by Steve that I was going to be in the squad and um, he was pleased with how I went and, uh, and yeah it was, it, was, it was just a good day. Boys, congratulations. There has been 1,454 players who have played rugby for England. Less than 300 of them have got a chance to play in the World Cup. And you boys have been selected in the 33. Me and my mate George, who would have thought it? Hey? That makes it so much sweeter um, being actually involved in the squad last obviously World Cup came all the way to the to the to the last selection and we'd just played the first warm-up game that was actually my debut uh, I managed to get 30 seconds off the bench but I was obviously so pleased to get on the pitch I was like one of my most proud uh, rugby moments my family was so thrilled and then the next day they announced the squad and I wasn't in it so it was a full-on roller coaster just emotions were all over the place but this year when I got told by Steve that I was going to be in the squad um, and he was pleased with how I've worked and, and, um, and where I've come. It was just uh, it was a great, great moment. Oh, outside of the oh. Oh. The biggest thing yeah. is being involved in the squad for the whole time. When you're in and out of a squad a lot and you know you train on the Tuesday and then you go home and then maybe the next week you might be on the bench or you might play and then suddenly the following week you're, you're out of the squad again it really takes a toll on you but being in for the whole time even whether it's training being traveling reserve staying with the team for me it boosts my confidence it makes my feelings and, and emotions around the whole situation just just lift I'm quite just a happy go lucky kind of guy anyway so for me just being able to be more myself um, feel confident as as part of the team it just it just brings out the best of me we're just coming out to warm up and you know, we saw some people walking out to the training field and I look over and I saw my wife and my kids. I <laughs> couldn't believe it. It was, it was an amazing surprise. It was a lovely, lovely touch you know, from Steve and uh, and England you know, for bringing all the families in. We we miss them when we come into camp. You know, everyone couldn't uh, hold in the, the excitement. Come on, come on. When did you find out? <laughs> when did you find out? <laughs> it's supposed to be there. <laughs> that you were coming here? Like, when did morning. you know? Oh, okay, Mommy so you didn't know. I found out this morning, but I found out last week. How are you, mate? Oh. 
Okay. You alright? Okay. Free? Oh. Well, there's a putty. Are you going to say hello to the cameras? Hi. <laughs> you too. I love your hair. <laughs> I think uh, it's good because I think there might be some selection riding on how my son behaves with the boss. Oh! Yes! Oh, I've got that. <laughs> it's them that allow us to, to be here and and do what we love. I know they come to games, but to see them watch us train and be, be here where we train and where we stay uh, when we come away and for them to have a look at that, um, I think it was, it was, um, it was beautiful. <laughs> So my dad wasn't able to get out to the game on Saturday. So yeah, to see him sort of after what was an emotional day, he was watching from afar um, on his phone, seeing me make my debut. Uh, it was really special uh, for me and both my family. But Wait, hold on, hold on. Baby. We can do it again, hold on. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll control myself, hold on. <laughs> this is your master plan. <laughs> Just get me to break down in front of you. <laughs> It's been a crazy 12 months to say the least. I mean, I started I started last season on loan at Amptil. My first game last season actually was for Amptil and pre-season against Saris. So that was uh, that was quite interesting. And then since then I was, you know, fortunate personally. We had a few injuries and I got my chance. Since then, it's just been pretty crazy. Obviously, a premiership win, title win at Twickenham, which was I didn't think I didn't think it could get better than that. And then Suddenly, a few weeks later, getting announced in the initial England squad, it was just, it's been, I don't know, it's been, it's been a roller coaster, 12 months, and yeah, to top it off with an England debut and to be selected in the World Cup, it's, uh, it feels like, you know, it's just dream come true after dream come true. <laughs> Having Jamie in camp is, is fantastic. It's been an unbelievable mentor to me. Balls? No. <laughs> no, now. Now. They're good for you. Okay, yeah. it's a good start, right? Here we go for four in a row. Once I got the call up for England, I think he knew before I did. So yeah, he's given me a lot of, a lot of good solid advice, uh, making sure I'm you know, keeping on the right path. And you know, before, before camp, it was my first one, it was, you know, I was, scared i was nervous i didn't know what it was going to be like um and you know it's always good to have like a friendly face there always looking out for you um so yeah really grateful to have him around my side
50 caps, it is really very special. Um, and it's going to a person who I think has already given a lot of great service to, to England rugby. And I actually think there's better to come in future from this guy. <laughs> My old man said to me once when I didn't make it through to England in the 16s, he said, you better come with me and try your hand at plumbing. Um, <laughs> so I bet he didn't think I was going to get a 50, so I thought you were a dad. <laughs>